My name is Jamie Murray. <laughs> You're right. All right. Charlotte, you got a fridge. It's a procession of people in here today. And I am this year the tournament director for Queens. It'll be fine, won't it? It'll be fine. <laughs> Welcome to yeah. the adult world. Yeah, it's the real world, eh? We can't afford to not finish the match. I think that's just a brief shower. I don't think you get on a zoo. That was a baptism of fire. He's back. Uh-oh. I think I've been in like a constant sweat for the last like three hours. You're right. Really well, how's it all going? It's a procession of people in here today. How's it going? Yeah, we're pumped. I mean, the weather forecast changed quite a bit the last few days. Like, it's going to be like proper warm, I think. Jamie Murray, who's yeah. the tournament director here for the first time, yeah. will never have had so many calls about the weather. Looking forward to kind of seeing the first match uh, kick off. You know, they're ready to rock and roll like day one. All right, let's go. Team? Hello, mate. All right, how, how are you? Doing? Good to see you. Looking well. Who yeah. tied your shirt for? Who tied your? Well, I did the tie. Is it acceptable? Is it a pass? You could lift it up a little higher. Lift it up a bit higher. Yeah. Choke myself a bit. Well, welcome to yeah. the adult world. Yeah, it's the real world, eh? And, and, and it's the, the big boy club. club. Well, it's not. You know, are you playing this week? No, no, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed. You can't be the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Conflict of interest. They tell me. He said my tie needs to be up more, but of course, the higher it goes, the more I'm like, ah. Oh. Look at him. Got a bloody tie on. Someone's got to, eh? Someone's yeah, got cheap. to, eh? All right? Yeah? Am I early? No. Yeah, there's a lot that a lot that goes goes into scheduling. Or, well if Cam wins then that's an easy choice. It's Cam Fritz. Or Fritz is your third match though. Because there's only four slots on centre court, so now you're you're considering you know, the guys ranked from like twelve to twenty you know, fighting out for spots on court one or court five. And the thing is here, there's a huge difference between playing on centre court in front of 10,000 people, playing on court one in front of 1,000 people, and playing on court five in front of, I don't know, 100 people or something, so. We should here. keep this second, just because they come back the next day. They just don't come back the next day, so you would swap those two. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, on the tennis point of view, that's me. Personally, on a supervisor point of view, I would rather that match on this court because there's four singles and this for me is going to be a short match. Somebody is not going to be thrilled. It's a tough decision, so I think we're kind of open to whatever, to be honest. Okay. Um, and, and John, sorry, TV is... TV, is I think that? they prefer that. Like BBC will want Andy at third match on because that's their prime time slot. So they, tomorrow he'll go third, Alcaraz will go will go second. Jack is going to play fourth match, which is what they preferred as well. I feel like okay. I feel like from a home support point of view, like he should he okay. should be on court one. So I and I feel like if I was to we've got Dan Evans on court one tomorrow. In terms of let's say just in terms of ranking, his was probably the weakest match across all the courts potentially but you know he's a big name in British tennis he's been a big part of you know Davis Cup teams over the years and he's been British number one for quite yeah for a decent amount of time over the years both British players on court five no, doesn't really this here, but this yeah I know I know I know I know that's just uh, yeah I'm, I'm I feel like you know he's been our British number one yeah. for a while, he's Davis cut all that stuff. Like Ultimately, I hope that they know that I obviously will have complete understanding and sympathy of what, you know, they're going through the situations that they're they're put in um, and not kind of held personally, held against you personally because obviously, you know, I'm still on the tour and playing all these tournaments against these guys starting from next week in Eastbourne. So, um, you know, this is a, Let's say it's a one-week job in the calendar, but the other 51 weeks, I'm still a tennis player. And Emma couldn't play there in Fritz here, for example. Well, Fritz comes back the next day. He comes back the next day, yeah, okay. That's, that's what it was really interesting to see how they build out the schedule, finding the right matches on the right days, but then also understanding like how much of a role TV potentially plays in that. I mean, Jack's got to play on the centre court. Like, he's British number one, he just won his first title. 
people are wanting to see him. You know, like it's going. It's really good for us because I think we're scheduled on our BBC Two till six. If Andy wants to go beyond that, I think they're keen to stay. And there's always a reason, basically. There's always a reason for what they're what they're doing, and um, yeah, I won't question them too much in the future. <laughs> yeah. Under control, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> well, I've got to do an interview for Tennis Channel. Oh. BBC haven't requested me yet, so... <laughs> Here's your pen. All right, cheers. Hi, guys. It's cool to kind of, yeah, be on the other side of it and, um, you know, I guess be player-facing. We've got... Oh, I don't even have a knife. Yeah, Where's the knife? knife? Well, obviously the matches are out and they're they're getting on, but it's just there's situations with the with the court. Tiafo slipped and fell on court one, had to retire. Um, hopefully it's nothing serious. I need to go speak to him about that. So one of the boys uh, has fallen and injured his I think groin and hip. So you pulled out this match. Is it opportunity to borrow a game ready for the next sort of two days? Is that something that might be a possibility to borrow from the NTC or Francis right, Tiafo is the player? But yeah, we're gonna we spoke to Brett. We're gonna try, try get the ice bath to the house. Yeah, that'll be. Um, that'll be brilliant. And if Lumi won't, if we can't get Lumi to organise it, just take mine, which is the same one as upstairs from well, my house in Wimbledon, because you just pull it apart. Are you living in Wimbledon? Yeah, so I'm okay. like, I mean, maximum five minute drive from where you guys are. Okay, perfect, perfect. Right, right. Yeah, so we can drop that off. And I've got the chiller, so it keeps it cold. Thing is, like, the weather's been so crap for the last however many weeks, so from the grounds' point of view, it's like it's been a disaster to prep the courts. He's obviously doing everything he can, which of course he is, and he's amazing at his job. See behind me the main, back of the main grandstand, and that tends to create quite a bit of shadow on the southern end of court one. Uh, unfortunately this year, autumn, winter and spring was very wet, the wettest for 60, 60 years. Um, the court is dry, it's just that obviously that has an effect on the grass plant, lots of chlorophyll, so when you do get a day like we had on Saturday where we covered and uncovered up to six times on one court, that end of the court is going to stay more slippery than the other end. Yeah, it leads to, you know, it just increases the chances of players falling over and injuring themselves and missing this tournament, potentially missing Wimbledon. Um, you know, and that sucks and it makes me feel bad because yeah, they'll oh, yes, come to me <laughs> for it, you know? Yeah, it's just awkward, you know, it's, yeah, it's awkward. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> I, I was fine this morning. I, I woke up at like quarter past seven or something. So I slept like eight hours, maybe a bit more than eight hours, which is good. The other night, like, not so much, because, again, I woke up at, like, I don't know, 5.30, and then just all this stuff in my head that I knew, like, needed to be dealt with or whatever. Um, but, yeah, that's... That's the real world, isn't it? <laughs> it's the real world. Yeah, a lot more things going on than just hitting tennis balls. <coughs> that's brutal. It's more the fact it's just constant, and I... You end up having to be on your phone all the time, which I don't really like because it kind of that brings anxiety. It's like, okay, I've got to text this person, I've got to text that person. Okay, now they've replied. Okay, now I need to let this person know. And this, it's just like Jen is speaking to Lumi in about 15 minutes uh, to get an answer on the ice bath. Yeah, that's what that's what I want to find out. Yeah, that they're that they're that they're popping the cans and that they haven't been like opened. You know two weeks before or whatever. I feel like this all the time, you know, which I don't really, I don't really like. To be honest, I probably need to spend more time in front of my iPad. I think it's a bit calmer like that, but so far I haven't done that once, so. <laughs> now, today's the hardest day because there's the most matches on court. We've got 13 matches. Personally, don't feel like they'll finish the matches on center court. Don't feel like they'll get through all of the matches on the outside courts. It's not like all of a sudden court one's suddenly gonna be playable until nine o'clock, you know? Like it's, it's just not gonna 
happen, I don't think. That's what we're working towards. What's the prediction for today? It's going to be a great day. Yeah. Good day, everyone. It's yeah. going to be a great day. It's got some epic serving on camera there. What, in the room there? <laughs> yeah. At the flash at morning. You all right? Hi there. Hi, you okay? I had to go buy um, dairy milks today at the, at the shop off the tube because I wasn't satisfied with the, the sweets that are on offer in here. I take care of business myself. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. I mean, it's a big role. It's a new challenge for me. To be honest, if Alcaraz wins in two sets, that would be epic because it's 20 past four now. Let's see, he finishes in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And yeah. we've still got two matches. And yes, we had to finish at 8.30, so it's not, um, yeah, it's not ideal. I know. What, Jimmy? Not really, man, not really. No, go on. No, because Evo just fell on that court and twisted his knee. Like, which, of course, is going to come back because Tiafo hurt his knee yesterday. Yeah, Evo has just taken a fall and has pulled out, he's retired. I don't know the extent of his injury. And tomorrow we're gonna have to we're gonna have to decommission that court either all day or certainly from you know past three o'clock or something because you can't risk more guys going down. nice atmosphere out on the balcony as people fired up to watch Andy. My mum's here, our two cousins are here as well. It's my dad, really, yeah. It's a shady, it's a shady character. I mean, I don't really care if he wins or loses or whatever. It's just like hope that he hope that he plays well. You know, like that's that's it. And yeah, just want to do himself justice, really. Okay, I did this. Right, let's go. Loses in what is it? Arnaldi. I mean, now we're just we're trying to watch time and this finish. When this finishes, whether we can put Jack on, because we don't really want to put him on, and he doesn't finish because one, that's not good for the players, and two, it means that there'll be five matches again on centre court, so we just keep running into the same issues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess, yeah. So this is good for now, but why have to do it on Starting from 12, yeah, his second match. He plays after Hijikata Arnaldi and then Dimitrov Korda. Not before three? Yeah, they can do not before three. To be honest, didn't really have time to, like, get absorbed into Andy's match, really. For me, I just wanted that he kind of got stuck in and performed well, and which by all accounts he, he did. And yeah, he would have been very happy to win that match, I think. So we got through all the matches. That was a big plus. Obviously the big negative was Dan falling and getting injured. That one, that one hurt a lot. So yeah, I think we're doing fine. A lot of big names into the second round and yeah, hopefully it'll build nicely for the, for the weekend.
it's Wednesday. Doubles is starting today. We've got four singles on centre court. Well, hopefully it should be pretty calm now, like if the weather's good because the schedule is pretty straightforward um, through to the end of the tournament. Today, Queen's is wonderful. The sun is out for the first time this summer and we're having a wonderful time. It's just a beautiful day out, really. And uh, it's quite just cheerful and easy going, you know, I really enjoy it. Shut up the atmosphere. Yes. Sebastian Cola. Uh, it's been really fun and really vibrant. And really, really, yeah, it's really exciting, terrific. Stands, Andy Murray's playing, so yeah, it's brilliant. The sun's out and it looks busy, so people better be happy, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think either, yeah. Look at that. I just could have brought mine as well. Oh, that's amateur for me, that. Scotland, uh, Switzerland. Yeah. I should wear my tartan trousers today and not bloody yesterday. Uh, no, Charlotte might have a fridge. Charlotte, you got a fridge? Yeah. What, are they room temperature now, Stu? Again, Thompson. Thompson, it's four games to one. It's back. No way. Uh-oh. Um. Is Andy? Get, he did not get the. He's not got the fizzy way, right? Has he? Or? I don't think so. You didn't say anything to the umpire. There's someone there. <coughs> if he's not getting the fizzy way, then I think he's doing all right. Who's that there? Oh, there is. Is it just came Fizzy, back? Fizzy, who's coming yeah, to the court? Yeah, just came back. Okay. We might have to cancel the tournament if Andy goes down here. Cancel Wimbledon as well. Or my Wimbledon's cancelled. I think his back's been a bit of an issue, to be honest. So, hopefully... Uh, Nothing too serious. I don't know if he's like spasmed there or something. But I'll go out and see what the see what the deal is. We had a great day in terms of weather and got through the matches, but Andy obviously hurt himself, you know, his body you know, just couldn't manage it, so that was, that was sad. <laughs> yeah, obviously it wasn't, wasn't great, I've been struggling with my back for a while, yeah, I had lots of power in my, in my right leg, um, so all sort of motor control, I had no coordination, um, and yeah, I couldn't yeah, but I guess you get distracted because then you have to like figure out when the next match is going to start. You know, it's live on BBC One. You know, they're not used to like not having anything to show, especially if it's like blue skies and sunshine. So you need to speak to the players, find out how long it takes them to warm up and stuff to 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 get on get on courts. And Ranich went out and and played, which I mean, it's two set match. Meant it was an early finish for us, but not under really the circumstances that we wanted. Show goes on. Please welcome under British number one. The question is, is how strong is BBC's request to go for Draper third? We have our finalists. It should be a good final. Where's the trophy presentation? Best suit to last. 